Hi guys, it's Carissa and I'm really excited because today I have all of the contents from our first Bark Box. It's a subscription box just for dogs and it is super cute. I've been looking into it and in late June I subscribed for the July box and it's set up in different price points for um, the frequency that you purchase the box. I just got a one-time box for now um, and I did find a coupon code online. I'm pretty sure that um, for your first box you can get ten dollars off or something like that and I'll find the information and put it below for you but you can select what size your dog is and then they have treats and toys and dog stuff basically tailored to your dog based on the size of your pet um, I have two Shih Tzus Bowser is 20 something pounds and Lucy is like 12 um, Bowser's a little on the higher side he's not overweight he's just big um, and Lucy's a little bit small for the breed but they're both the same breed of dog so I picked the small box and um, I was actually pretty pleased there's only one item in there that I won't be using and um, I did I think I got 10 or 12 dollars off on the box it seems like it took a long time to arrive because I ordered it at the end of June but I don't know when really they usually send them out so it might have been right on time but I just got it yesterday and I couldn't resist so I opened it up and I let them see what was inside and let them taste some things but I figured I'd show you a more in-depth look at what was inside I do have two cats also um, two rescue kitties a male and a female and I've looked in the subscription boxes for cats um, they seem kind of pricey and they didn't really, I hadn't found one anyway that appealed to me. So right now the cats just get their, um, their kitty greenies, their feline greenies as treats. And I don't really have a cat box for them. So just so that you don't think that I'm being cruel, I did look into it. So the first thing that I pulled out of the box was this Dog Toys Sprong Fuzzy, Squeaky, Spongy, Chewy, Floaty, Squishy, Velvety, Bouncy, Smushy Dog Toy. And the packaging looks like this and it's cute because it's got this really like soft pliable velvety um, feel to it and it's got little nubs and grippies so that the dog you know even though her mouth Lucy is the one who plays with these the most her mouth is really small she can still hold on to this and it squeaks and it's not a really loud squeaker it's just kind of a normal I don't know why, but some of these, the squeakers that are in these toys, man, they are so loud. But this is like a tolerable level of squeak. Uh, we actually already had one of these. The only problem in our household is that they do pick up a lot of cat hair. So this is the one that we, we've had from when I used to work at, I used to work at a pet store in the grooming salon. And I would usually get toys when they went on sale. Um, or if we threw out any of their toys that were no good, I'd replace them. At one point I picked this thing up. It looks really gross right now, um, but it's the, I think it was the same brand. It was It's just a different color and a different shape, but you guys wanna play with these? <laughs> there you go. So that is by the brand R2P Pet. Then I saw, I think next what I saw in there was the Safe Made Pet Products Flexi Bowl for Bark Bowl. And it is shaped like a dog paw, I think is what it is. And it is a, I'm guessing silicone. Let's, let me take a look here. Let me read it. It says it's oven and freezer safe, dishwasher safe, safe for your entire family, free of cancer causing chemicals and free of BPA made from durable yet flexible food grade non-toxic silicone this is so awesome because we frequently will have water on us but not a very good drinking vessel for the dogs um, we don't take them places often where we anticipate they wouldn't need water but it happens every now and then you know most of the time we're prepared but it would be nice to have a bowl dedicated just for that that we could just make sure is clean and always have it with us when we're going to go out and um, and give the dogs water. The next thing that I think I pulled out, which I don't have on me because we threw it away, was a, let me see if I can find what it was. Then there was this little tiny container here called 
Mr. Barksmith's Cool Treats. It says all natural smoothies for dogs. Just freeze and eat. Wheat, gluten, and dairy free. Low calorie, low fat. Serve frozen or unfrozen. And it says it's peanut butter flavor. And it comes in this little container with a foil top. This is great. Lucy does have a wheat or gluten allergy. We're not really sure. We just make sure not to feed her any products, treats, or um, dog food that has any kind of wheat or gluten in it. Bowser's fine, but he does benefit from a wheat-free and grain-free diet. I find that the tears that he has that come out of his eyes, they aren't quite as smelly. Sometimes little dogs can have stains um, from tears that come out of their eyes, and the tears can be sometimes really potent smelling. Um, it's actually a yeast bacteria that kind of sits in like the crack by their nose. This is uh, the kind of treat that we wouldn't buy probably more than once a year if we bought it at all, but it's nice to know that it fits within those dietary restrictions. This is called No Grainers. It's a training size soft chew. It says healthy grain-free dog treats, barbecue chicken flavor. And there are these little, let me open it up here. It says no wheat, corn, or soy. And it says made in the USA with American source chicken. Are these little tiny treats, like a U-shaped kind of thing. This is by Max and Ruffies. It says natural organic treats for dogs. It's the banana and coconut flavor, mini bites. And there's a little peekaboo window in the front where you can see, oh, the cat, there's, the cat's got into this box last night. It says cat hair on everything. There's cat hair on everything in my house. Why am I even? So there's a little peekaboo window in the front so that you can see that the treats are really small inside and you can get a, a nice view of them. Like if you were at the store, you'd see what they look like. It is marked USDA organic. It says no wheat, corn, soy, or GMOs. It also says no artificial anything. It says minimal ingredients and USA made. So they've already got my attention with that and it makes me really happy. Um, it says there's about two calories per treat. So it's not gonna be da a dangerous thing to add to your dog's lifestyle. You know, if you give one or two treats one or two times a day um, for something that's this low calorie and small. It says that it's made with organic buckwheat flour, organic banana, organic coconut, organic coconut oil, and organic cinnamon. And that is all that is in here. It's all ingredients that you've heard of and that you can pronounce, and I just really love that. Because the treats are so small, I don't feel bad about giving them a couple of extra of these during the day. Usually they only really get their dog food and Oh, Lewis, you want one? Lucy has been sitting here very patiently. They smell good. They smell like banana and coconut. There was also a little card inside the box that said, is your dog begging for more Max and Ruffies? No problem, we've got you covered. Simply sniff us out at maxandruffies.com and there's a coupon code for your next purchase. So that's really cute. Uh, and it also has a contact phone number and email address here. Um, there was one item in the box that we did throw away that we won't be giving to the dogs, and it's just our personal preference. It was by the brand Barkworthy's, and it was called a bully stick, which um, are made out of different things depending on what the brand is and what part of the bull they use. But um, we saw that it was a dehydrated beef bladder, and we didn't give it to the dogs for two reasons. One, that's really gross. Um, just in our first basic opinion, that's just gross. You see something like that, and although that this box was created for a small dog and that item was sized for a small dog, they will chew it until it gets soft and then try to swallow it whole. And that's really bad for them. Um, we don't give them raw hides for that reason. Because of what it was made out of, it might have broken down a little bit more. But in the past, we just know that they can't be trusted, especially Bowser. He will really try. I think he's afraid we'll take it away from him. He'll really try and swallow it as quickly as he can, and then he'll start choking. So regardless of the fact that we would never give him a treat like that and then just leave the house and, you know, 
not supervise him while he's chewing it. There were just too many reasons why it was like, that's just not something that we would give them. And I feel like I did pretty well considering I got the box for a discount and I love all but one of the products in it. So that's really exciting. Um, if you want to get a box or more for your dog, you can actually go to BarkBox.com and submit a coupon code. Um, I can try and look up the current one, but I think that there's one for the first time box, kind of like always, it's sort of standard for them that you can use. And the more boxes you buy at once, the more of a discount you receive. So I think you can do one and then six months and then 12 months. And I think that <laughs> here comes Normal. Normal likes it too. <laughs> yeah, she's done. What's this, you guys? You wanna open your bark box? Bows, what's in here? Do you wanna open your bark box? Do you? You guys wanna try your new treats? Okay, first we're gonna try the banana and coconut ones. They're really tiny and really crunchy, like they look like this. Here you go, Bows. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Luce. Can you like it? And this is the other one, the barbecue one. Oh, he's got to get on the couch to eat that one, get comfortable. You guys like your new, you guys like your new treats? Hmm? Mm -hmm. He says, thank you, huh, Bows? He says, thank you, Mom.